Welcome back, folks. Chase Valenzuela here with Balls of Fame Pro Shop, coming at you from inside Enterprise Park Lanes for a review of the brand new Roto Grip Magic Gem. This is the hybrid version of the gem, which we've had the original and the exotic, which was the pearl. The original gem was a great tool for me if I needed to keep my angles straighter, but still get something that really wanted to pick up and get going. It also usually let me play a little bit straighter angles, especially when they were fresh, and that for me was really useful at certain tournaments. I, the first one that comes to mind is Team Event at the Greater Ozarks this year. I really found that I needed straighter angles at Sunshine Lanes, which is our other uh, pro shop location now. And the gem is a ball that I happen to have with me that came in handy really, really well. Uh, it's on a similar layout to this Magic Gem, which is a little bit longer pin to PAP, and it's down with a larger pin buffer. For me, this type of layout slows down the friction response and allows me to play a little bit shallower angles both uh, to the right if I wanted to be up it, or even when I'm inside, it kind of lets me bump 10 down the lane and still keep the ball in play instead of having to go so left to right once I get deep. The Magic Gem, as you may have guessed, is a really familiar shape to the original gem. It does back end a little bit more, uh, but to me, it doesn't hook stop. The issue that I had with the exotic gem, and my exotic gem is five and a half inches pin up, so it's a little more skid snappy, hook stoppy anyway. So I don't know how much can be attributed to the ball, but I had it with some surface on it, and that's where it was really niche and useful for me in certain spots, but certainly not a throw at any time or like a house shot killer type of ball. The Magic Gem takes the usability and controllability of the original gem and just makes it a little more continuous down the lane, a little better at going left to right than the original gem was. And for me, this is going to be great on clipped up house shots and stuff like that. And it's probably going to have a little bit longer window that I can throw it compared to the regular gem. And it's not going to be quite as niche as the exotic gem was. I think the lanes might have been a little bold on before I came into film because I wasn't able to keep it in front of me super duper well. Um, on the fresh now that also could be that this ball does really want to pick up and start to change direction really quickly because of that low RG all right the first ball that I chose here to do a comparison with is the 900 global reality this ball was an absolute staple for a lot of people as that first ball out of your bag that solid asymmetrical piece that you can start with on the fresh but the reality is unique because it's a touch cleaner and a touch more continuous than a lot of the other big asymmetrical balls on the market. And for me, it took the place of uh, like an asymmetrical phase two, where it's a one ball for sure, but it had a lot longer window that I could throw it than other balls like the DNA and even the original gem. Next up, we have the Clone. This is another high-performance hybrid asymmetrical ball. However, the Clone is a little bit higher RG with the core, so you can see just how much further the Clone kind of floats down the lane and clears the front part of the lane better before it starts to spin up and get into that hook phase. You can see the cord keeps the ball going much further down the lane, coupled with a slightly cleaner cover stock as well. As far as total hook potential, I actually found these to be pretty close, or even the clone maybe a smidge more as far as total board coverage, but the Magic Gem certainly wants to pick up and get started a lot sooner. The Magic Gem is available October 20th. Come see me at Balls of Fame Pro Shops or go to your local Storm VIP Pro Shop to get yours. <laughs>